Hi, I'm Laura Seppa here in downtown San Diego reporting from the Women's March. I'm with Sarah Taylor. Do you can tell us a little bit about why she's at the march today? I think women are equal and we should be treated as such and it's a prevalent issue in America today. Why is this march important to you? People assume that I'm incapable because of my gender and it's not true. I am a student and I have a job and I'm sick of the way that I am being treated. Being a man, what brought you out here today? Uh, I'm here to show support for the other half of society and to prove that all men aren't sexist pigs. Come back here and wash my clothes! Just like that guy. Today on CNN, we have a special person to talk to. He was the infamous man who held up a very controversial sign at the Women's March. Here's the sign. Soak us in for a moment. Here's our guest, Clyde Hickinson. Hello. So we saw your very controversial sign at the march. Why did you choose this sign? Well, my dark wife went off to that stupid march and didn't wash my clothes before she left. So I got concerned for all the other husbands who didn't have clean clothes. So that's why I brought the sign there to remind them. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe you could do the laundry instead? Are you kidding me? Why would I need to wash my own clothes? So your wife doesn't have to. Why would she have to? She don't got nothing better to do. What do you do while she washes your clothes? Well, I drink and yell at my TV like any other man in America. Woo! I see you as someone who objectifies women. Am I correct with that statement? I, I don't know what an objectifier is, but I think women are great. Why do you think women are great? Because without women, how are men supposed to get food and have kids? They're like the best tool a man could have. It's like a kitchen, a mom, and any other house chore maker into one thing. So you do objectify women? If that means I love women, then heck yeah! Wow, okay, next question. How do you feel about the wage gap? The wage what now? The wage gap is the unjust difference in median pay of men in America versus the median pay of women. Did you know in 2016 women were working full time in the U.S. and paid only 80% of what men were paid? Um, I didn't know that, but I don't see nothing wrong with it. Why do women get paid so much anyway? <laughs> what about women who work just as hard for you for less money? Ain't no woman work as hard as me. I go to the shop every day and I work my tail off for four hours. Ain't no woman work that hard. I guarantee it. Wow, four hours. Remarkable. Off topic question, but what college did you attend? Uh, the University of None of Your Business. <laughs> A true scholar. An epidemic across the United States today is sexual assault. Every 98 seconds, an American is sexually assaulted. What's your take on this? I don't care. How do you feel we could stop the sexual assault problem across the country? Girls need to stop asking for it. I see all these girls at the bar wearing some funky clothes, talking to all the boys, trying to get free drinks. It's bound to happen. So you think it's not the men's fault for sexually assaulting women? I mean, obviously men shouldn't be touching up all the girls. But women are the real problem, I'm telling you. You really think that it's okay for men to do that? I mean, there's no harm in it, so why is it so bad and y'all are complaining about it all the time? Okay, uh, moving on. What are your views on women's politics? Um, I don't pay too much attention to politics and whatnot, but I know I do not support that lying, thief, crooked Hillary. President Trump tells her off all the time. That is a winner. Trump proves that women shouldn't be a president. I can tell you all this all day. I love America. Wow, okay. Last question. Thank God. Why do you think women should be treated less than men? Periods. Please elaborate on that. Elaborate what? Please explain. Uh, oh, women are always on their darn periods. And why should I have to be nice to someone who's yelling at me all the time? It's unreal. Well, this has been an eye-opening experience at best. Thank you for volunteering for this. Mm, anytime. Next week, join us as we interview Chris Brown, Donald Trump, and Harvey Weinstein for their takes on women's rights in America.